Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Every day, Curry for every day, guys. So, in my unending endeavor to bring you more and more videos, we're going to be looking at the Olight Arc Fault in this video. And I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. I probably am not, but it's spelled A R K F E L D, Arc Fault. So, those of you who follow my channel will know last week I started a new segment on the channel where I did sort of shorter reviews during the week. My full length, in depth EDC gear reviews are still going to be on the channel every Sunday at 6. The reason I'm doing this video is because Olight is having their almost monthly sale. Um, the revenue I get from my Olight affiliate link is pretty much the only revenue this channel makes since YouTube decided to, to demonetize me. So if you watch the date of release, the sale is on the 18th from 10 until the 20th at 10 a.m. Um, of August. I've got an affiliate link with them, it's down below. So if you do want to support my channel, Please do so by using that affiliate link. Also, everything is not on sale. You can check out or you can get a small discount using the code EDC for the EDG. Let's talk about the Olight Arcfelt. So the Arcfelt is a strange light. Now, this is definitely not a tactical light. This is on the lines or very much along the lines of utilitarian flashlight. And those of you who follow my channel will know that I rate Olight utilitarian flashlights as some of the best out there. The arc felt is a departure from the standard light as you can see. First and foremost by the shape. I love it. Why are more people not doing rectangular shaped flashlights? They fit easier into your pocket. They are easier to grip. You always know where the on off button is. Even holding it like this as I would a tail cap operated flashlight. This is so much better than a round flashlight especially with this cool pocket clip. Hoping you guys can see it. it's super thin. With a school park clip, it fits nice and comfortably into your pocket, but it has retained Olight's proprietary charging base style recharging mechanism. The base is also magnetic, so when it comes to utilitarian usages, a magnetic base is really, really cool. You can stick this to the hood of your car if you're working on your engine. And also, the shape of it being square means no matter what surface you put it on, it won't roll over or roll away from you. I really do dig the square shape. Let's look at beam shots. So guys, I've got this on max setting, and as you can see, the arc felt is much more of a flutter than a thrower, and that doesn't make sense for utilitarian flashlight. You aren't going to be using this in a defensive situation. It's more for utilitarian, just having a flashlight on you, looking for your keys, looking for something that fell down the couch type of deal. Color rendition is good, which is very good for a utilitarian flashlight. Let's talk about specs and settings. So you have a low mode of 15 lumens that will last you for 41 hours. Pressing and holding gives you medium of 60 lumens for 11 hours and 5 minutes. Pressing and holding again gives you 300 lumens for 126 minutes. And a double tap gives you 1000 lumens for 4 minutes, dimming to 300 lumens for 110 minutes. Pressing and holding the button from off takes you into moonlight mode, which I'm sure you can barely see. And that lasts for eight days. Now, the deal with the arc felt is it is also a laser. So it is a laser pointer. Um, I'm not going to point the laser at my camera because that's not a good deal. But there is a green laser embedded in the reflector, as you can see that little black dot over there. And by cycling the switch, you can switch between modes. There is a switch, a nicely beveled switch with raised edges that make it comfortable to switch between modes. And you can switch between laser or flashlight mode. The laser will last for 122 hours. The Olight arc felt does also come with a battery level indicator. Those four lights, they don't stay on permanently. Four lights, obviously each light indicates 25% and as I said, you can recharge it via its proprietary USB recharging base. Guys, of the, the sale stuff, I'm quite digging the fact that the Warrior Mini 2 is going to be discounted by 30%. As far as Olight's tactical EDC flashlights go, this is probably the best one they have available, but in terms of utilitarian lights, I really like the arc felt. I especially like the shape. I've had, I've had early access to this and carrying it in my pocket is really comfortable. It's, it's much nicer than your standard round flashlight. And I hopefully, hopefully more companies will go this route Obviously, if you do want to make it something tactical, you need to add, add a tail cap button. But the fact that they've been able to integrate the USB recharging 
uh, station into the rear, I'm sure a company can add a tail cap button to this shape of flashlight because it does that does lend itself to utilitarianism as well as having tactical applications if we can have a tail switch. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this short and sweet review. Please, if you are interested or you know someone interested in buying Olights, please give them my link. It's down below. If you're watching on Instagram, please go to the link in my bio. That's where my channel is. If you're watching on YouTube, it's the first comment and it's linked in the video description. If you're watching on Facebook, it's the first comment on the post of this video. That is it, guys. I will see you on the weekend for a review. Have a good week. Be safe. Train hard. Cheers. God bless.